It was a normal day on the north and south side of the railway, and all the engines were getting ready for the steam festival. Today, Carlos was shunting a train <clears throat> into the into a siding so other trains can pass through or get their coaches. It was just a normal day. Well, they thought. Someone heard that another train was coming for the steam festival, and all the engines were excited to see them. As Carlos got back from the shunting yard, everyone was talking about the new engine that was coming, and they were all excited. Hey guys, did you hear about the new engine that's coming for the steam festival? Wait, did it? Wait, they're coming today? Well, of course, since, well, uh, Mateo told us that she would be coming today. What? But the Steam Festival is probably, it's not in a few weeks. It's like a few weeks. If we're lucky, it's probably going to be on his birthday. Ooh, imagine how cool that would be if it was on his birthday. Mm, yeah. Meanwhile, Hogwarts had to move a box out of the way so the train could pass through and visit all the other engines. Hey, Winter, do you mind talking with me with this? Oh, sure, I don't mind. Wait, do you hear that? Oh, yeah, I do. Little did they know, the train that was supposed to come to the Steam Festival was actually headed right for the box, so the whole train would crash. <laughs> Right now, Hogwarts and Winter were really oh, stressed no, thinking that the whole There's train will crash and there will be no way. steam festival at all. Uh, I don't know. Then oh, no. Lily no, got an idea. Oh. I have an idea. Hogwarts and Winter were still really stressed and tried their best to pull the box, but nothing worked. Until... Lily pushed the box out of the way just in time for the express train to pass through. And everything was saved. I have no idea. Don't worry, guys. I fixed everything. Thank you, Lily. Little did everybody else know, this train was actually two trains. These twins worked on the Dream Island Railroad. Their names were Lena and Alex. Thanks to this, really often, everyone was thanking Lily for moving the box out of the way because there could have been a wreck and the steam festival would have been cancelled. That would have been bad. Wow. Wow, Lily, that was something really brave you did. I know. I know, don't mention it. So, uh, you want to go back to up to our show? Sure, I would love to. I'm exhausted anyway. Yeah, plus, the new engines are going to be here for a long time, right? They will probably be the last ones to leave after the Steam Festival ends. Then, after all that, everyone had a nice time talking to Lena and Alex. My name's Alex. It was fun. And I'm Lena. We're up in the Dream Island Railroad. Wait. How come I've never seen you in the Dream Island Battle for Dream Island series? Oh, that's because we were on a separate railroad on, at the time that was filmed. I mean, even... Plus, a cool thing is, my number is actually named... 
is actually the year that the first episode released was released in. Or probably a year before. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I've never met someone from the actual Dream Island series. Jupiter, remember, they weren't actually in the series. They were on a separate railroad. Oh, yeah, right. I am old. You're not that old. She was literally made during the 1900s. It's not her fault that she was built on the Transcontinental Railroad. Wait, why does that sound like it's me? Oh well. Meanwhile. Oh my god, Galaxy, calm down! There was another group of friends, but they and they also wanted to see everyone else. So they decided Guys, to go, since, here. well, they were bored anyway. <gasps> they are? And had nothing to do. They are. Isn't this exciting? Oh, yeah, right, I forgot. She's over there, too. So, uh, you guys want to go? So they decided to go say <laughs> hi and... Wait, what? Oh, um, I would say the same oops, thing right now, but we that. do not have the budget for that. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, I just got my coupling fixed. Oh, it's still fine. Uh, well, this is unexpected. Oh. Uh, oh, but I forgot this is all pre recorded. Oh, I'm so sorry. So everyone no, started apologizing to each no, other no. after what just happened. Here, you're you up into the air. Fault. Oh, wait a second. How do you look so sim- Why do you look so similar to her? So I was got confused on which is expression. which because they looked similar, but oh, yeah, even though it was so easy to tell because they have different real arrangements. Over here says polar so, express. Uh, so you guys are both yeah. Yep, that's because we're both. That's because polar is actually based off of Pierre Marquette 1225, but our real actually occur, actually rebuilt her into her movie form. I have to give her the Polar Express whistle. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to sure. hear her whistle. It's pretty loud. <laughs> It's been really loud lately. It's a good thing Mateo plans on remaking me. Wait, why is he remaking you? Oh, I'm an old model, if you're wondering. Then, and then over here, Lucy is actually the second oldest model. And then after that, Max was built. And then Carlos. But between the building of Max, Max, Mateo built the Polar Express coaches. And between the time that Daylight was built and Jupiter, Mateo built the coaches for Daylight, which he actually did all in one day. He built the Daylight and Train. And then he built Jupiter. And now he has you guys. Wait. You guys came from the Dream Island Railroad, right? Yeah, but we were on a tourist railroad near the Dream Island Memorial. Oh yeah, right. It's sinking to the ocean. We'll do that. On, we'll do that. On, we'll do a story on that soon. Wait, who are we talking to? Shh. Okay, everyone. Miles, say cheese. Cheese.